guys, Jacqueline Wynn here, AMA Alliance President. This is the President's message for the September link, which is the AMA Alliance All-Member Newsletter. I'm saying hello to you from Las Vegas, Nevada, and actually this is where we just wrapped up a three-day AMA Alliance board retreat just a few weeks back. The retreat itself was a tremendous success. It was three days of hard work, um, a lot of friendship and connection growth. Um, in preparation for the retreat, I'd sent out a survey to all the attendees asking questions like, what are your strategic goals for the Alliance for the coming years? Um, what does success look like for you specifically in their role on the board? And some fun questions like, um, what is your favorite meal? So for those of you who don't know, I love to cook. It's how I show love. Um, so day one of the retreat, I welcomed everyone into my home and I cooked them a meal. Um, the meal I made featured at least one favorite thing from everybody's list. Um, we ended the night with a team building exercise, a sound bath. <laughs> um, if you don't know what it is, I'll be happy to share with you, uh, but the sound bath really also put us into the mindset to prepare us for all the hard work that was coming the next day. Day two of our retreat, uh, we were hosted by Toro University, a local medical school here in Henderson, Nevada. Uh, we toured the facility as well as had lunch with the student body president and their CEO, Shelly Brickley, who is an AMA Alliance member. Um, Going over all the stakeholder session notes at the medical school, I think grounded us. I think it reminded us of a very integral part of why the Alliance is here, which is to support physicians in training. Day three of the strategic plan, we were hosted by Henderson Hospital. Um, Sam Kaufman, their CEO, came and spoke to us specifically about how hospital systems could partner with the AMA Alliance to support physicians and physician families. Uh, the rest of the day was led by Scott Emerson, formerly of United Way and the American Red Cross. Uh, he led us in our strategic planning session. Um, and he really challenged us to ask some hard questions about what we can do to set ourselves up for success um, in the coming years. I'm excited. I'm excited for us to put the plan together and to share it with you in the coming months. I think one of the big takeaways though that I can share with you from strategic planning is this. Um, I think there's a slight paradigm shift. Even though the AMA Alliance has always been focused on how we can serve our members, um, one thing that really came out of this weekend uh, was this idea that we want to do whatever we can to support county and state alliances, as well as members at large, um, not only to amplify all the good that they already do, but what can we do to support them so that they can grow bigger and better and stronger, um, even beyond what they're currently doing. So you will hear more um, in the coming weeks. So a couple other things to share with you that I think are very exciting. Um, I'd love for you to check these out uh, now. Um, one is the AMA Alliance map. You can visit our website and take a look at this. Uh, it's an interactive map that really shows you where alliances exist all across the nation um, and connects you with your regional rep so that you can be connected to any of these alliances as well. Um, I think that this is going to grow into a great tool to um, allow all of us to connect and collaborate. Um, next is the AMA Alliance Master Calendar. Uh, this also will be a great way to amplify what all our counties and states are doing. Um, on this calendar, not only will you be able to see when your AMA Alliance councils and committees meet, um, it will also show you um, important dates for state meetings coming up um, or health initiative uh, days that are coming up that are happening in every state. Um, and then finally, it's still in the uh, um, infant stages, but we did develop on Facebook an AMA Alliance Volunteer Board. Uh, this is to support an idea that we really are excited about, which is micro-volunteering. Um, we know that many people 
want to volunteer but maybe can't commit um, to a full year of volunteering. Sometimes there will be needs from us that will require specific skill sets. So for example, right now, I'm really looking for somebody who has a strong background in human resources um, for a short period project. Um, so this new volunteer board is really exciting because it's public. So it's not only open to our members, but also our potential members who can be screened. Um, but it will tell you the scope of the project that we're looking to get help on, the skill sets that we're looking for, um, and probably the most exciting thing is you can tag people on it. So um, this HR position, if you in Florida have a friend in North Carolina that you know would be great for this position, you can actually tag them on Facebook and they can get connected with us. So um, all of those things can be found online right now, um, either through our website or our Facebook group. So thank you so much for uh, joining me and listening to this president's message for the September link. Um, we are incredibly excited for the coming year. I am grateful for this incredible team that we have uh, working for you on the board, on the councils and committees. Um, but mostly just, I want to thank you for being a member. Your membership matters um, and it helps us move our mission.